bring in our first guest. You bet. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, from St. Peter, Minnesota, please join me in welcoming Bob Vogel. <laughs> Bob, hey, thanks for stopping by. Now, you're, yeah. you're from St. Peter? Yep. Tell, we, us, tell us a little bit about St. Peter. We've got a tornado damaged house there right in the historic area. Oh, right there on the on Right on the 169, goes yep, yep. And uh, we've got a stained glass studio set up out of there, and that was our intent for, from the get-go. Oh, okay. So, so where are you from originally? I'm from Minneapolis. Spent four years in Fargo, and after that, uh, I got on my first trip overseas, and the travel bug bit me. So where did, where did that end up taking you to? Oh, that was Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, South wow. Pacific. So tell us a little bit more. Where were some of the, the spots you stopped? And uh, well, South Pacific, at? for instance, there'd be Fiji, Tahiti, Samoa, New Zealand, Australia, uh, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, wow. uh, a couple years in Papua New Guinea. You really made your way around there. You know, Earl always wants to go down to Fiji because he heard the girls don't wear any tops down there. Is that true? <laughs> this is true. Maybe we can get Give Earl to step out. Listen to the push. You Finally get, get him there. out of this county. He's never been out of this county yet. <laughs> so uh, how, what got you started in stained glass? Uh, when I wasn't traveling, uh, I'm a house painter, summertime. Oh, okay. Wintertime, I can in indulge myself with the stained glass uh, when I wasn't on a trip somewhere, and that's what I've been doing for about 25, 30 years. So, uh, married, family? Married 10 years ago, my wife and I, on a trip to Spain. Uh, spur of the moment, we got married on the Rock of Gibraltar and came back home. Uh, she lived in Richfield, I lived in Minneapolis, and we went back to our respective homes for about six months. And then she was on her way home to South Dakota and came across this house in St. Peter that was for sale. So six months later, after we got married, we finally- Found a home base then. Home base. Well, yep. that works great. Yep. So in your, uh, in, in your stained glass stuff, uh, I was looking at some of the stuff you sent originally. Some was in there, what, what's fused glass? Uh, that's uh, heated up to about 12 to 1500 degrees and it will stick together. This would be an example right here. Uh, flattens itself out and we've played with some uh, wine bottles for instance. This is just a, f a wine bottle that was uh, cooked wow. up to 1480 degrees. It'll that flatten out. Melt out by itself then? It'll melt out, it'll flatten and then we've taken it uh, one step further from there. We put it on a, a mold stainless uh -huh. steel mold and this is uh, an, a wine bottle uh, that can turn into a candle votive or potpourri or whatever you might want oh, it to be. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, like this could work for a nice little trivet or something like that for a it hot can, pad. Or it can do that, yep. That's yep. pretty slick. A little small cutting board to serve some cheese for your for your cocktail parties, Earl. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so do you do a lot of glass mostly for, for the home or do you do business? Things or both, both, both yep. huh? uh, we can do just about whatever you can imagine. Uh, here again, just some basic uh, things are available. Oh, that's uh, pretty. The, uh, the traditional, anything that you can think of can basically be done and, uh, and we, can, we can do it. My wife is pretty much the color person. I'm colorblind. I do the fabrication basically, oh, okay. but uh, she's in charge. So of, she uh, tells you which ones go there and it's going to look right then. Well, that works pretty good. And I believe her. Yeah. It looks like it does. <laughs> uh, yeah, like this here, this almost looks like a little uh, Frank Lloyd Wright-ish look in there. That's, in that that's, style. Yeah, yep. that's, yep. that's really slick. So now, like, uh, do you go around uh, Minnesota that showing your stuff? And We do have some shows. We'll be in uh, Mankato at the E.D. Bailey gallery from April 12th to about May 27th, I believe it is. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, we've, we're in certain uh, galleries around. Now, if, if somebody would happen to have like a, a window or a, a nice you know, piece of hanging art like that and something broke it, do you, are you able to fix things? Or? We, we do repairs, we have uh, classes, and uh, yep, if uh, the cat has knocked it over, we can, we oh. can get it back up and running again. So you, you, said, you, have, you said you have classes of those in, in St. Peter then? Is yes, that we do. Saturdays those? usually, uh, 10 a.m. to noon for about five Saturdays. And uh, oh, wow. you get all the tools, everything you need to, 
to learn the basics, the cutting, the foiling, the, the soldering, and uh, you can take it from there. Perfect. So, what, you know, I know our people out, you know, out in the audience and, and out at home there, if they, uh, if you got like one of those website things there, we could have them uh, take a look at there for we you? We do have a website. What? Otherwise, call me. I do know how to use the phone. Better. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's low tech. He prefers phone. What's the, what's the phone number you'd rather have? Uh, that's 507 507- Nine three one three eight one eight. Yeah, perfect. Well, hey Bob, pleasure having you here tonight. Can you stick around for a couple seconds? We're gonna we're gonna we do little uh, things where one of our reporters from outside Sweet Swine County is gonna go out and and tell us a little bit about that. Could you hang?